Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, here we are going to solve one very interesting rational radical equation. So I will begin with one identity which I will use mainly here that is difference of two squares which we know a square minus b square it is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This is what we know. Now let's write our LHS. So 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over square root x minus 1. So I will multiply this rational with root x plus 1 in the numerator denominator. See what will happen after that. Now you can see square root x plus 1 square root x minus 1. Consider this is a minus b written and it is a plus b written. So what we will write in that place a square minus b square. So overall 1 over x minus 1 plus square root x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. Okay. Now denominator is same. And one more thing. See as per given equation we can conclude denominator cannot be 0. So I will write x can't be 1 in total overall. Square root x cannot be equal to 1. That means x cannot be equal to 1. Again same result. So x cannot be equal to 1. Now denominator is identical. I will write our equation as 1 plus square root x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 and RHS is as it is 4 over 3. Now numerator is square root x plus 2 and denominator is x minus 1 equal to 4 over 3. Now I will cross multiply the numbers. So it will become 3 times let me write here 3 times root x plus 2 equal to 4 times x minus 1. Okay. In other words, I can write root x plus 2 divide both sides by 3. So 4 over 3 times x minus 1. Take away 2 from both sides. So equation will be root x is equal to 4 over 3 x minus 1 minus 2. Now I will consider common denominator again. So I need to multiply here 3 and I will divide by 3. So our equation will convert it into square root x. It will be 4 times x minus 1 minus 6 over 3. Okay. Now simplify the RHS. 4x minus 4 minus 6 divided by 3. And left hand side is root x. So it will become root x is equal to 4x minus 10 over 3. Now I can take 2 common from the numerator. So I will write 2x minus 5 over 3. Now left hand side we have square root. Right hand side we have no root. So I will take a square both sides. After taking a squaring. So it will become x is equal to 4 over 9 in bracket 2x minus 5 whole square. Okay, now cross multiply again. So we can write here, let me put, we can write here 4 times 2x minus 5 whole square equal to 9x. Done. Now we have to solve this quadratic, it will come out. So let me expand first. 4 times a minus b whole square. a square, so 4x square plus b square so 25 minus 2ab so 5 times 2 10 10 times 2 
माइनस ट्वेंटी एक्स इक्वल टू नाइन एक्स लेट्स एक्सपेंड सिक्सटीन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस हंड्रेड माइनस एट्टी एक्स इक्वल टू नाइन एक्स सो लेट्स टेक ऑल द टर्म्स टू एल एच एस लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो इट विल बिकम सिक्सटीन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट्टी नाइन एक्स प्लस हंड्रेड इक्वल टू जीरो नो दिस इज वन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन फॉर दिस वी विल अप्लाई क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला सो लेट मी अप्लाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी सो एट्टी नाइन प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ बी स्क्वायर सो एट्टी नाइन स्क्वायर आई हैव टू राइट That is seven nine two one. Eighty nine square it is minus four times a is sixteen, c is hundred. So sixteen times four is sixty four. So six four double zero divided by two a a is sixteen. So thirty two. So it will come eighty nine plus minus. What is left? One. Let me write here one five. Two one divided by thirty two. Okay, this is in bracket. Now square root one thousand five hundred twenty one is thirty nine. So eighty nine plus minus thirty nine divided by thirty two. If you will consider plus sign in between, then it will become one twenty eight over thirty two. One twenty eight over thirty two is four. If you will consider minus sign, then 89 minus 39, 50. 50 over 32. If you will cancel, let me write here 50 over 32. In totality, it will become 4 and 25 over 16. So these are our solutions. Now, one is extraneous and one is acceptable. Or let us find out which one is true solution. so let me write here verification we have got two solutions x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 25 over 16 let's verify one by one so i will consider the first case x is equal to 4 okay let me put here x is equal to 4 1 over 4 minus 1 so 3 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 so 1 so which is equal to 1 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 which is 4 over 3 that means it is true verified now come to the second value that is 25 over 16 okay if i will put there then 1 over 25 over 16 minus 1 Plus one over the square root of twenty five over sixteen minus one. Let's find out LHS. So this value will be one over twenty five minus sixteen. So nine over sixteen plus one over five over four minus one. So if I will resolve this, then this will be sixteen over nine and plus. Five minus four, one over four, so four. So if I will maintain the common denominator, then it will become sixteen plus thirty-six over nine, or LCM you can say also thirty-six plus sixteen is fifty-two over nine, which is not matching to our RHS. So this solution will be extraneous. We will consider, and our true solution is x is equal to four only. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.